Hello, YouTube land. Richard here. I'm at this old church cemetery. And I actually had a request and I got lucky. I found this gentleman right away. And he is Edward Monteferio, born in 1966. And he died in 2020. He wasn't, he's in his 50s, I guess. Uh, yeah, he was only around 56. I'm going to have to look it up and see what happens. But anyway, I'm pretty happy. At least, you know, whoever requested this loved one or family member. We'll have closure. You know, they don't have to travel or whatever their reason is. Anyway, we got a couple of interesting graves here. I got two more other people on my list for this one. I tried to go to another cemetery and it was appeared to be private and landlocked. Hmm. Looks like this gentleman. Cornelius Glenn. Ran a, a funeral home and an oyster business. Loving memory of Ben. And it looks like we have a firefighter over here. Cornelius Glenn. Yeah, he would have only, he died fairly young too. Um, 43, 53, around 59, I guess. Or, uh, let me see, no. Oh. A little cold out here, my brain ain't working, obviously. That would be, yeah, around 59. Anyway, let's zoom in on him. like a fireman yeah so 40, yeah 56 or something um, yeah this must be the newer section oh what do we have here Somebody left a lot of stuff here. He only just passed in 20... You can't see it. I don't want to disturb it. 2019, I think, John Wilson. Um, all right. Edward Augustus. Hmm. Betty Bartlett. I guess, horseman. I can't figure that out, but anyway, 2007 and 2008. Huh. Oh, wow. What is this? I'm going to have to look this up. William H. Thompson, Bro Dog. Inventor of Punkin Chunkin, seven time world champion. Wow. 1946 to 2017. Punkin Chunkin. I have no idea what that is. Looks like maybe a contest. And looks 
like we have what was a happy couple. Dolores, born in 1947, died in 2017, and Hollis, he died in 2018. Oh, so the wife went first. That's sad. Well, they look like a very happy couple. Up, oh, rest in paradise, everybody. Let's leave these people out. James Franklin passed in 2015. And Bernice back in 2005. And Richard Wayne. In, oh, he just died. I think this is the newest part of the cemetery. Now these other people on my list, let's check it out. I believe the one is a baby. So that's gonna be a small grave, but this looks like it's gonna be a nightmare. This place is pretty big. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Looking for a Mary Horseman who passed in 47. And a Gardner, a Gardner Dorman, 1930. But this will be, it's freezing. I'll take a brief scan, plus, I'm working against the sun. What is this? Sun. 1891, oh, only four years old. Let's see what it says. Sleep, baby, sleep. Till the angels come to get you. I'm just ad-libbing there because it's under the dirt. It's really a cold winter day here. Oh, and we have early suns, early sunsets. for a merry horseman. Let's let's see what they got around here. Oh. These stones actually look a lot older than they are. 1918 and 1925. Hmm. 1851. Yeah. So she made it to almost 60. I could tell already it is a very strange cemetery. Annie Augusta, wife of George, 1866 to 1907. So, 34. Yeah, she was around 41. I don't know what the significance of this tree. Maybe a life cut short. It's got too much biological growth on there to make any sense of it. Anyway, I'm gonna have to come back here.
Hmm. No, this is not what I need. One, two, three. One, two, three, four people here. Wow. I don't know exactly how they do it, but father, mother. All right, so. Now, who can make sense of all of this? <laughs> These must be very old. Oh, uh, look at this. What's that? Mary O. Born in 1892. And died, no, born in 1872. Born, died in July 26, so in the summer of 1893. Uh, eight, ten, eighteen. Only around 21. Very sad. Here's some graves right outside the church. These are always very strange to me. Oh, there's a lot of Robertsons down here, I notice. It's really indiscernible. How about this one? The Kendry, the Kendry Robertson. 40, 1843 to 1919. Let me see what it says there, if I can see it. I'm gonna have to come back here because it's freezing. We'll look at some stand up, stand out graves. Love, light thy way to that far shore. Huh. Love, light thy way to that far shore. I never seen that one before. I always, I always see epitaphs, new different ones I've never heard of before. Now look at this nice, nice one. Wow, that is a nice headstone. And look at that from 1947. The gift of God is eternal life. gift of God is eternal life. What a nice, nice tombstone of faith. Here's another uniquely carved one. Memory of James Knox Polk Inslee Jr. Son of James K.P. Annie Inslee. Oh, wait a minute. 1906 to 1908, only two years old. And look at that, for 1908, they had to spend a ton of money on that beautiful stone. We miss, that, we miss thee, darling James, from thy familiar place. We do not hear thy footsteps near or see thy smiling face. Wow, i never seen that one. That is sad. And here's another Inslee. He made it from 88 to 63. No, well, looks like he made it into his 70s, I guess. And I guess this is actually the family area. John and Sally. Sally passed in 41, 1941. And John in 1926, he went first. Let me refresh my memory here. Um, let me see. 
Harry Horseman. Yeah, if I would have brought gloves, it would have been a little more manageable. Sorry about that, guys. I, was, uh, I would have brought gloves. It definitely made my life a little easier. But... Yeah, I'm going to have to come back here. Looks like a lot of interesting things to see. Let's check Hmm. Looking at this. Died in 1915. What a difference a rock makes. Granite, headstones, they just last so much better. But here's a very colorful stone. Very weird the way they got them facing. What's this? 1888 over here. Harry Walter. 32 to 88. So she was around 50. And let's check this out. Oh, what does that mean? there Cornelius Messips anyway he died in 1918 and his wife died in 1929 very colorful stone and these are some very old ones yeah it'd be like finding a needle in the haystack with uh, well, I don't see any dates on that. Another Inslee. Oh, here's another epitaph I absolutely never seen before. William Glendon, I guess he passed in 1944. Unless, no, looks like they're both alive and uh, they just have this waiting, I imagine. And I love their epitaph. Evan will be the grandest family reunion ever. Wow. What a faith-filled uh, couple. Yeah, they're not old. Yeah, they're up there. But they absolutely could be alive and most likely are. Uh, trying to do a quick scan. I figured Mary over here wouldn't be too hard. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Here's a George Horseman. I'm looking for a Mary. Wow, I am in the area. Well, who is this here? Let me see if I can see it through the phone. Oh man, we're close. Marguerite Horseman. Yeah, 
just around the See on the other side of the stone. There's John Olive William Iona. Well, we got a lot of people in here. Uh, no Marys. Oh, more horsemen. thinking they built this church after the cemetery. Oh. oh, I do see more horsemen. Let's see. surrounding this headstone but hmm. oh man yeah looks like one of them I can't make it out but well no I didn't live the full life Well, a lot of horsemen, but not the one I need. But at least I got one out of three. It ain't too bad. You see, I am looking for an infant grave of a gardener dormant. I don't see that. I believe these footstone, these are footstones and they indicate, you know, where the casket dimensions, I guess. There's 
a really old one. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna vacate this cemetery. People are burning wood. It's a very rustic area. And I'm just trying to see if maybe I get lucky over here and run into the ones I need, but it's hard to concentrate when your fingers are frozen. No, nope. got a big field out there. I'll have to come back on a warmer day or with a pair of gloves and better conditions. It's just a nasty day. So, there's a pretty church that is like the centerpiece of this cemetery. I, I, I had a feeling it was rebuilt. Um, yeah, I see more modern graves out there too. So, I'll have to come back and I'll just leave you with this view. And uh, if you like this, hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't. And... Uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching and uh, stay safe and I will catch you on the next video and uh, it'll be coming soon most likely. So have a great day and peace out.